Good evening. Welcome to A Moment with Celeste. And um, I hope you've all had a good weekend. And we're going to tonight do another little fall project. <clears throat> um, we, um, I started working on our spare bedroom today with the hopes that I was going to get it shampooed, the carpet shampooed and things. And got the carpet shampooer in here and um, realized that there was a piece of it that was missing. So I couldn't do my shampooing or move my craft supplies over, but in the midst of working in there, I found my box of fall decor that uh, craft supplies. And so <clears throat> I was glad to find some of those because I'm going to use some of that tonight. Hi, Teresa. So what we're going to do tonight, we're going to make a little either wall hanging or door hanger type of thing. I found these um, 21 inch ruler sticks at, I honestly cannot remember where I got them at, but it was just in the last couple of weeks. And they come to three in a pack and they were very inexpensive. And so I bought a couple packs of those and then I bought a couple of packs of the 12 inch ruler sticks. And so I've put together this board using those ruler sticks. And I decided to go every other one so that I, you know, with the side that has the little dip in it. So I did every other one um, up on the top and then also decided to put some on the side just to make it a little bit wider. So that's what we have right now. Then I took and painted the side that we're gonna use. I painted it this color of using my Waverly uh, truffle paint. Waverly chalk truffle paint. I was going to try this technique that I saw that <clears throat> would work um, I thought it would have been fun to do, but I think it was just going to take more than what I wanted to spend tonight on this project. So we'll try that somewhere else. But basically what you do is you put your chalk paint down and then you put another color of chalk paint over it, let them dry. And then there's a process to peel it because you want it to look chippy, but that just didn't quite look like the chippy I wanted. However, when I did it on a stick by itself, it did. So I'm going to um, practice up a bit on this technique and maybe we'll do it again sometime. <clears throat> so some of the things we're gonna work with tonight is in my fall supply stash, I found this cute little welcome sign that I had gotten at Walmart probably a couple years ago. And I thought, well, I'm gonna do something with that. <clears throat> And then I thought we'll use um, this plastic tile that we get from Dollar Tree. I'm going to use that in this project too. It's actually going to be what's going to cover up my little spots that I had put on here. And then, um, but to start with, I'm going to take, and since I'm not going to go with this chip, this type of a technique here, I am going to try to do a little bit of a um, kind of a chippy look with my little bristle brush. So I think I'll pour some in the top of my lid. This first coat I'm going to do is going to be Waverly Chalk Paint Plaster. And we want to kind of do a dry brush on this. I don't want it real thick. <clears throat> And I'm just going to take it and just going to kind of do a light, dry brush up the top of this board. And then I don't really need to do the bottom because it's going to be pretty much covered, but a little bit of it will show. So I'll make sure I get both sides done on this. <clears throat> 
So it's consistent. Okay. Then I thought I'm going to go ahead and do the same to my little ends that are sticking out here. So um, this one here got a little bit too much on there. I'm going to get some of that off. It's really important that your brush be drier. We'll call these my little paddles coming out the side of the board. to do is I think I want to add maybe a little bit of another color on it as well. So I am going to try, I'm going to go down here, <clears throat> I am going to try um, and see what this, it's Americana Deco Art uh, Spiced Pumpkin paint. And again, I just want to do a really light. Hi Lori Beth. Okay, I'm going to dip it in here and take it off a little bit and then let's just try it. I'm just going to try coming down here just to put a little bit of orange into this mix. Okay. I think that just helps pull in the whole fall, fall coloring without it being overbearing. Just do a little. Some on the side here and over here on the side. Got a little heavy there, but that's okay. Feel like I'm playing my cello for you. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, then I'm gonna do the same thing to my little paddles down here. Hi Tony, I saw that you just popped in. Thanks for joining us tonight. <clears throat> So I'm going to dry brush this orange on. Like I said, I get a little much there. I'll probably go back and just wipe that down and do a lighter coat, maybe. And maybe not. I'll just maybe dry it out here a little bit. Now I'll come around here, same thing, just get some of the orange on here on the ends. If I'm really gonna get brave and try a little bit of my maize yellow just lightly over this I tell you it is amazing the difference it makes when you just do a, a light little dry brush technique on things you can take a very kind of a basic blob kind of color sometimes and make it into, um, let's see, go up here, put a little yellow in there, yeah, I like it. Just lightly, see. I think that just is helping it to look a little more fallish. Put a little bit over here on these tips. Put 
over on the edge there. And then come around. <clears throat> got a lot of pieces in here on this project tonight so I'm feeling a little cramped in here with my craft supplies all right so there's what we've got ignore this top part because that's going to be covered up we're not going to do that and look up that did from this to this with a few strokes of the paintbrush Okay, now I'm going to take, while I have this out, and I think I might just mix some of these paints up a little bit. I'm going to use this Dollar Tree uh, Backsplash Vinyl um, on the bottom here. We're going to cover up. <clears throat> but what I want to do first is I want to glue... My little welcome guy on here and I'm going to trim his little string off here and I'm going to put him on let's see here make sure I do it the right way so that he's going to be attached to this and then I'm painting this a different color okay so I think I'll actually just go ahead and do the paint job first Get that dried. Okay. <clears throat> and this one I want to cover the whole thing pretty well. So better move my little board. I'll be painting that whole thing. <clears throat> and this is that Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. I'm finding myself a lot of times that I, I enjoy the color of the plaster better than the straight white because it's just um, tones it down a little bit. Sometimes when you have a stark white, it can kind of take over. I love painting on this little um, embossed backsplash and I know I said I got this at uh, Dollar Tree but I think I may have gotten this maybe a pack of it at um, uh, Hobby Lobby at one time a while back and four. It doesn't have full coverage yet, but I'm going to do another technique to that too after a while. So let's go ahead and dry it. I'm poked out today. Lori had a little craft show that she did yesterday afternoon, and so her and I went over and put together a table of things and spent about four hours there. And, um, but it was from 4 to 8 p.m., so I got home probably about 8.30ish. And then I woke up today and I kept hitting, I hit the alarm once as if, forget it, I'm turning the alarm off, I'm just sleeping in. And that's what I did and I got up at 11 o'clock, you guys. 11 o'clock! Then I jumped out of bed and John and I got busy in that spare room that we're going to convert to my little she shed. And we got to working on that some more. And I was hoping to get more done than I did, but I tell ya, I just don't move as fast as I used to. 
And then when I do move, I suffer for it because I get back spasms and I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. You know, if I was out on the farm, they'd probably take me out and shoot me. <laughs> get me on my misery. Oh, gosh, I tell you. Okay, so I've done that so far. Now I'm going to take the um, glue gun that I didn't turn on. And we're going to take, I'm going to get a minute here to, to heat up. And I'm going to stick that to the top of this. See that? And then when we put it on our base here, we're going to curve it a little bit so it almost looks like a 3D effect for this than just being flat, which I thought was kind of cool. But you never know till I get it done what it's going to really look like. Well, I'll wait for that glue gun to warm up. This is the project that we did the other night that I did get finished up after we got off the off the air and um, I'll put some pictures on it but I got my um, shiny coat sealant on there and um, I think it turned out pretty cute. Then I have this cute little wooden art easel stand right there. Get that sound for now. <clears throat> okay. While we're waiting for that a piece that I might add to this, but I'm not sure yet, is I found this little um, pumpkin in my um, fall basket. So I shaved the back of it off so it can lay flat. And I may or may not adhere it to this um, piece here. We'll see when I get done what I want to do. Um, <clears throat> the other piece thing that I know I was going to do is I'm going to take and here it is I got some twine and I'm just going to take I don't like that green plastic stem so I'm just going to take my twine and put some hot glue and go around it like that and we'll have that looking more like a real pumpkin stem kind of a dried out but it'll look like, look like that instead of that. Okay, let's see if my glue gun is ready. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna try this. <clears throat> I'm gonna put my glue across the top here of this piece that I just painted. That's the backsplash piece. I'm gonna put that on, and then we're gonna put this on top of it. And again, I want to get it centered enough. And then I'm just going to press it down. Okay, okay got that. Now see how I expanded him a little bit? Now I'm going to get my board back out. And we're going to fiddle with this. And I'm going to see... If I can get this on here, like it should go on. Okay. This will be the tricky part, I promise you. Okay. Well, it's going to be best if I start up here. On the part where the cloth is at. And just get that sealed down. Oops, I'm gonna go up higher. Need to be about right there. Oops. And we'll see how that goes. And then do the same thing over here. I'm going to hold that down a second and keep our fingers crossed that this works. <laughs> okay. Then we're going to have to bend it a little bit. Okay. I think it's 
going to do it. So you see what I'm doing? I'm making it so it sticks out from the board instead of laying flesh against the board. So now I need to go ahead and get some more glue on here. I want to get quite a bit because I don't want that coming off on me. Okay. Press that on. And that can get a little hot under there because it's just plastic that your, the glue is on. Okay, I'm going to come down here, do the same thing. Hold it down. Yeah, that was a hot one. Hold it down a minute. Okay. There we go. That's it so far. But we're not done. So I'm going to, I have to debate whether or not I'm going to leave this open on the bottom or if I'm going to cover it with some of this extra. And I think, I'm just afraid it's gonna to be too hard to do that. So, I know what I'm gonna do though. So that piece in there that I had put those orange in, that big orange and yellow spot, I'm just gonna reach up in there real quick here and cover those up with just the plain brown so that if you do see anything from the bottom, it looks like the rest of it, not like a psychedelic insides. Okay, bring my tips up. Okay. All right, I'm gonna dry that real quick. Now on this here, I don't like just the plain white, so I am going to do my <clears throat> Waverly Antique Wax across this. Hi Norma! <clears throat> okay. Let's see if I can do this without getting it too gooped up. Okay. This is just a fun one to do, Kai, too. Um, guys, to this, with the way that it's beveled. Because it really picks up no matter what color you're putting on top of this. Even picks up a string of glue stick. <laughs> if you don't, even if you don't want it to. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. There we go. Oh, I like that a lot. That's pretty. Just always amazes me how this just adds so much to bring out the details, this, doing this type of antique wax. Okay, look at that. See what it did? Now, isn't that better than just having it the plain the plain um, white or cream color. All right, now we're gonna do some fun up here. I have some fall <clears throat> picks that I had and there's not a whole lot of these so we're just gonna see what it does. I'm thinking I can have these in up behind. I'm going to do some more, but that's what we've got so far. See? Cute. And then I've got these little flowers that I can put in here too if I want to. Let's see if I want to.
scooch it down there as far as I can get it. Even out a little bit on the wisps. I wish I had more of these. I know I got these at Dollar Tree last year. I'll have to look and see if there's more. They're kind of cute. Okay. What do you think about this? And then up here I'm going to put some ribbon things, but... Okay. All right. Then I want to grab... To shove this... Fill this hole up up here, I'm going to put in some of the moss. not going to take a whole lot. Just get it in there and I'll just put some glue down inside to kind of help stick it in. I think it gives it even a little more um, scarecrow look to it with that. Okay. So that's all I did with that. And then it stands up like this. So the only thing you're going to see it is if you see the underneath side. <clears throat> All right. Now the flowers. Probably the easiest will be. I'm going to stick them together here. And intermix them. And then I think I'll just tie it with a piece of twine. Nice a little tight knot. And I'm going to try to bend this up a little bit here at the bottom. And then let's see what it does with this. And then I think what I'm going to do too is I'm going to put some moss in the actual top of the bag up or the behind the um, scarecrow. So let me see here if I want to do that or not. Oh, <laughs> this stuff's so messy. <laughs> it's so messy. Yep, that's what I want to do. And on both sides and just push it down in there. Give it a little bit of, let it come out a little bit so we can see it, but I don't want to see a whole lot of it. Okay. Now I'm going to dump this excess in the trash bag here. my board. And then I'm going to come up here to this top side up here on the edge. Okay, here for now. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do raffia or twine around it. So I'm thinking for the ease of things, I'm going to do twine and then we're going to add some raffia and a bow into it. So on this here, I'm going to actually come down, I think I'll do it about, start winding it around. You don't want to go above. Okay, I'm going to start it back here first. And what I'm going to do is tie it in a knot. <clears throat> Turn over so you can see. Okay, we'll 
let's tie it in a knot here. And that's just basically so I can wrap the twine without it coming off. first and do a few thickness rows of it around here pulling it tight top part as well. So about five wraps around. Whoops. How did I do that? Okay, so I did five on below, and I'm going to do five up on top. So that's what it gives us. You can't really see it on there, but I am going to take and put a little bit of the orange paint on there so that it does stand out a little bit. Okay, my scissors. Prime this off and tie it. In a good knot. Okay. So we got so far. Okay. All right, now, <clears throat> I think for the top, I am going to take, and I think I had some ribbon here, and just do a little tie ribbon. I'm not going to do the messy bow one on this, I don't think, but I might have to if I don't have enough to go all the way around, but I think I've got enough. Keep my fingers crossed. So I put three pieces together, three different colors, textures, and I'm going to pull it tight, and then let's see what this looks like. Pull them apart so you can see all of it. I think that'll do it. <clears throat> I think it will. And then I'm just thinking I'm just going to put it right up here in the middle. I may add another loop of something in here, but I don't think I'm going to need to. Okay, I'm going to glue gun this on right here in the middle. just all came from that. Came from six 20 inch paint sticks basically and 
where I have six 12 inch paint sticks that I put together to make the board. And then we painted it all on the front. And we've got our little door hanger. And now, I don't know that I've got anything here right now that I'm going to be able to use. My pumpkin that I thought I'd use is not going to work. It's going to be... <laughs> I think it looks a little strange sticking in right there. What do you think? Is that yes or no? Um, hearts if it looks good. Hearts if you think I should. Don't do anything if I shouldn't. Now, I could put that there and then put some straw around it. Okay, that's what I think I'm going to do. I think. I'm not going to commit yet. Not going to commit yet. But basically, it would look like something like this. With the straw going around it. And what I'll do is I would glue that on the back. I don't know. I do kind of like it. It gives it some other dimension down there. I can't see your comments. Durable. Okay. Lori, I'm depending on you, honey bunny. I think you think I should or shouldn't. I can't. Let's see. Okay. Well, I'm going to get this finished up. <clears throat> and as you know, We'll post pictures later of the finished product. But for now, here's what we have. And thank you for popping in. And if you're catching this when I am not live, you're seeing the replay. So just uh, say hi or hashtag replay um, in the comments so I know that you had popped in after we gone off the air. And I hope you have a wonderful evening, everybody. Bye-bye.